How to program Capoza 4-wire non-radio electronic limit switch motors. The limits should be set first before connecting the motor to any permanent power supply. To set the limits using the Capoza limit setting device, ACPRE, connect the ACPRE to the motor using the above diagram. Make sure to check that the direction of rotation is correct. If it is not, swap the red and black wires. We need to remember that the limits cannot be set individually. Whenever the limit procedure is opened, both limits must be set. Feel free to pause on this screen to take a better look at the diagram. To enter into limit setting mode, you must position the motor somewhere in between the desired top and bottom limits. The position must be below the desired top limit. This way the motor can learn the correct direction and if obstacle detection is enabled on your motor, obstacle detection will work properly. Once the motor is correctly positioned, press and hold both the up and down buttons simultaneously until the motor makes a jog. Press and hold the up button until the desired top limit is reached. Note the motor will operate in dead man control. Press and hold the up or down button for the motor to move. Once the top limit is reached, press and hold both the up and down buttons simultaneously until the motor makes a jog. The top limit is now set. Press and hold the down button until the desired bottom limit is reached. Note the motor will operate in dead man control. Press and hold the up or down button for the motor to move. Once the bottom limit is reached, press and hold both the up and down buttons simultaneously until the motor makes a jog. The bottom limit is now set. Once the limits are set, the motor can be connected to the switch and power supply. Connect the motor using the above wiring diagram. If the direction is reversed, swap the direction of rotation wires. Feel free to pause on this screen to take a better look at the diagram. This step is for Sensei obstacle detection motors only. To activate or deactivate the obstacle detection function on Sensei Motors, follow these steps. There are multiple steps to this process, and if done incorrectly, the obstacle detection function will not change. With each step, we need to wait for the motor to move before proceeding to the next step. First, we need to press the up button on the ACPRE and wait for the motor to move. Then press the down button wait for the motor to move, then press up, wait for the motor to move, press down, wait for the motor to move, press up, wait for the motor to move, then hold the down button. Keep the down button pressed until the motor jogs. If the motor jogs once, the obstacle detection function is deactivated. If the motor jogs twice, the obstacle detection function is activated. 